Hey everyone, it's your favorite pastry, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 4, You Only Live Once. Last time, oh last time, someone was a massive idiot and got, them shot, got themselves shot. Twice. And now, I am missing 17 hit points. Which got me thinking. Oh man, my left arm's not doing so good either. Which got me thinking about Sanctuary. Because you see, in Sim Settlements 2, there are three acts. Right now, we are in Act 1. But in Act 2, a mysterious faction will show up and start writing your, uh, your settlements. So, I'm thinking of going back to Sanctuary and building it up a little bit more. Giving it better defenses. And looking at it, they're not doing so hot with food and beds. And I want to go see why that's happening. We go grab some junk, which there wasn't a lot of, and then we'll start heading out. I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Hopefully, nothing exciting happens because I have had enough excitement for this entire session. Well, here's something I don't no normally grab: a duffel bag full of pre-war money. Yes, there it is. Pre-war money, when you sell it, it's worth 3 to 4 caps. And it's completely weightless. So that's just free money for me. And I want this alternative to caps. Because later on, I might be switching to a barter economy. Uh, it's one of the magazines you pick up at Nuka World. Uh, the lower your caps, the more strength you get. And I can't believe I completely forgot to search this uh, trailer. I have the key and everything. Ooh, four frag grenades, frag mines. Don't mind if I do. Alright, and again, I'll bring you back. Unless something interesting happens. Here we go, and I'm just outside Red Rocket. And wouldn't you believe it? Nothing exciting happened on the return trip. Just the way I like it. I came here because there's almost always an extinguisher, and I am overweight. And gas canister. We'll get rid of those, as I'm likely not going to be using them. Yes, I came back here to see if they had any gears. And wouldn't you believe it, this place only had one gear. One. Alright, back to Sanctuary. And I made it back. And wouldn't you believe it, again, nothing interesting happened, thankfully. Dump all my junk. Now, I'm manually putting everything away because I want to keep the box of ASAM sensors and the empty bottles. As well as the pre-war money. There we go. Now, let's see why things are falling apart. Oh, would you look at that? Not enough water. And not enough building materials. Well, that's why. These two are both scavenging. We're scavenging. Let's see if I can change that. There we go, it just blew up, and now it will start rebuilding itself. And I have enough. There we go, that should help them out. And now, 
Time for some scrapping. But first, let's build them a proper... There we go. And would you look at that? That was the right thing to do because I just leveled up. And now to scrap the entire settlement. I'll bring you back when I'm done. There we go. That's looking better. Houses are slowly being built. Farm is producing food. I now have enough water. But I might be a little bit low on the power front. So we're just going to build a nice lovely generator right here. Can't believe I forgot about you. And why not? Let's have another one. Then let's put a pile, power pylon here. Wire some things up. There we go. Wired it up a bit. Even provided some nice lovely street light. Street lamps. Now let's build another little farm. Because every farm needs a buddy. Right there. And these little guys here are indoor units, so we can just put it somewhere inside. As soon as I figure out how. There we go. Just had to get rid of a few things. Excellent. Now, I just need to build four more houses. There we go. Give this person a nice, lovely waterfront view. Gosh, I keep on... I don't have enough asbestos for it. It's always asbestos. But, like, seriously, every time I want to build something, I'm always out of asbestos. Alright, I built most of the things that Sturgis needs, but now we get to work on defenses. Oh, and would you look at that? I have unlocked multi-person hoses. Which is great. It means instead of building one plot for each of my settlement settlers, I can just build one. And it'll turn into it'll be able to hose multiple of them. Let's Get on to those defenses. Last time I played some Simmons, they like to come from this angle. So if we block it off a little bit and then put up some turrets, I think that should be fine. Oh boy, I have a lot to build. I'll bring you back when I'm done. There we go. One of the walls is done. Because we all know that walls are a perfect solution for keeping people out. They always work. There we go. Got a nice little wall there. But the computer was yelling at me, saying I'm pretty hungry now. And it's thirsty. Nice drink of water.
And I'm all fed up now. now as for defenses up here. There we go. Nice little wall with a machine gun turret. And we'll just put a guard tower right here, just for extra safety. Yo, talk to Sturgis, see if that makes him happy. Probably doesn't. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. And there we go. Sanctuary is starting to look a little better. Ooh, but I still need one more plot. There we go. Last one done. Eh, while I wait for everybody to finish, I'm gonna have a nice lovely sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. There we go, brand new day, and the settlers still aren't done. What do I pay them for? While I wait... Gonna break down some... Ooh, not too many. Some spare leather armor I have. Oh, and I picked up a leather arm piece. Leather left arm piece. Take that, thank you very much. I Not only is it lighter, I think, but it also provides a little bit better energy resistance. Not like it really helps right now. And would you look at that... I can't make anything, no, oh, excuse me, because everything requires duct tape, and I'm out of duct tape, again. And level seven. Well, last time, I don't think my pistol was doing enough damage, so you'll start investing into Gunslinger. Yeah. And there we go, quest updated. Oh, that's a nice little house. I really don't know. Then you don't know that kicking it won't work. And they got a nice lovely waterfront view. Hey, stop that, please. It can't be good for the sensor. But it won't work right. Oh. That's no reason to go beating the living daylights out of it. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Maybe you can talk some sense into the young lady. Is something wrong? It's this sensor thing. I want to build a store. You know, somewhere I could sell stuff, but it won't work. A store? I don't think the sensors can build those. Can they? Maybe. Hmm. You know who would know? That ASAM fella. Maybe you should go find him. Ask him what else these sensor flibbity gibbets can do. I'll go see him immediately. Oh, well, that's great. In the meantime, I'll get the new arrival settled. And hopefully prevent more property damage. Good luck. How could old Paul help you? Oh, and another level up. This one is going to rifleman. And since these two were complaining that the census weren't doing what they want them to do, let's go talk to our, the handsome stranger. I'll see you there. Hopefully, nothing scary happens. Excellent. Made it to Concord. And would you believe it? Nothing scary happened. Though, so, the Death Claw is still here. And the crows are starting to feed on him. I thought that was kind of neat. So, let's go say hi to the kind old stranger. Maybe he has some more duct tape. I always need duct tape. It doesn't look like he has more duct tape, but he has tons of ASAM sensors. <clears throat> uh, 
turn off the radio because I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted music. Oh, hey there. Didn't expect to be seeing you again. Is something up? It's not the ASAMs, is that it? That is 100% why I'm here, stranger. That's why I'm here. Ah, so it is the censors that bring you here. Look, I'll tell you the same thing I told the others. I know it may seem confusing, but trust me, just stick with it. Keep building with them, and provide your people with proper supervision. Eventually, it'll all make sense. Oh, that is not my problem. What else do you have? What else? Are you saying the sensors aren't enough for you? I need to build stores. Well, that's a first. Defenses. Plain A Sams are too complicated. Like my very own empire. Ask for more. I'm starting to get the feeling you're not exactly like most people, are you? All right, darling. Consider me curious. What's your story? I forgot to put on my charisma gear. Is that pit boy in your wrist? I bet there's a tail. Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? It's not every day someone trips over a pit boy. Heck, it took me years to find mine. So where'd you get yours? I got it in Vault 111. 111? That's the vault just down the road from here, right? How'd you even get in there? That place is sealed up tighter than a Brotherhood bunker. Wait a second. Uh huh. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. I woke up at one point. Some people killed my husband and kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know what that's. Well, I know something like that ain't easy. You might be surprised how common that kind of thing is out here. Are we gonna learn a bit about your tragic backstory? But, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I don't mean to pick at fresh wounds. But what you said about being frozen, are you telling me you're pre-war? Before the bombs? Yeah. Before the war. Before everything was ruined. Whoa. That's... Well, that's amazing. You really are like most people. Then, if you don't mind my asking, why is a vault dweller from the past bothering with settlements and ASAMs? You know, I don't know where blood and money is, but I'm... I will always 100% pick it. Blood, bullets, and money. All the way. Oh, well, that's, uh... Certainly one way to go. I mean, if you're looking for caps, a successful settlement can give you that. And success often brings nefarious attention. So if you're spoiling for a fight, you won't have far to look. Well, guess that explains why you're so serious about this settlement stuff. <laughs> Raiders! <laughs> Hurry! Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just... Tell me what happened. Back at the settlement, a whole bunch of them. They, they've taken hostages, please. I find that hard to believe because I just set up a wall and a bunch of turrets. You crush one and five more crawl out. Well, don't you worry, darling. I got your back. You helped me with my raider problem. Only right I help you with yours. All right, let's go. Right you are. Come on, get the lid out and move before somebody gets killed. And we'll meet him there eventually, but first... Stranger, are you coming? I would really like you to come, stranger. I'd really, sorry, I'd really like you to join me, stranger. Ah, yes. This is the Minuteman that Preston was talking about that they lost on the way here. She conveniently has some energy cells for me. There's the stranger. Now we're going to go say hi to Trash Can Carla. And hopefully this time, a glowing one won't come out and boot me on my nose. But since I have backup, it should be a little bit better. Huh? <clears throat> so 
what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Always pick sarcastic. Love, sweetheart. <laughs> Girl, have you come to the wrong place? My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, beautiful. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll uh, give you a discount. Not today. What a waste. Now, what's going to spawn in? I'm just going to go over here because I was watching someone else do a YOLO run, and they came over here and got a good vantage point. Won't say no to drugs in 308 rounds. Oh, it's raiders. I don't like that I'm in caution already. We're going to retreat. We're going to be smart about this. We're not going to just stand out in the open and get shot at like last time. Because raiders can carry molotovs and I am 100% not ready for a molotov. Well, that raider took it like a champ. Okay, crisis averted. Let's put on my charisma gear, put my guns away. Carla, back again? Time to do business? Let's see what you have. Always happy to make. Let's see what I can get rid of. All right, there we go. I'm giving her one folder, six shotgun shells, and four stim packs. And she's giving me 16 308 rounds. Oh, excuse me. And that only cost me one bottle cap. Now, I s really important, I put my armor back on. I'm not going to make the same mistake that many a true nerd makes and run around in your charisma gear. And would you look at that, I already got my stim packs back. Ooh, leather right arm, you say? Thank you very much. That's a Mr. Gutsy. And he's coming this way. Okay, Trudy can wait for another day. I am 100% not dealing with a uh, Mr. Gutsy right now. Yes, so the hostages are right there, which is a little scary because there are a couple of blowflies right in that neighborhood. Hopefully those raiders will take care of them so I don't have to. And Trash Can Carla is now going to move to Sanctuary. Where I can then trade with her. And she'll reg be a regular visitor. Gotta be careful, there are a bunch of ghouls right there, right where the little marker is. Grab some more hub flower. Is a key ingredient in great mentats, which I'll be needing for later on.
And since I'm in the neighborhood, I'm just going to very unsuccessfully hunt some deer. This is why I don't hunt in real life. There we go. Rad stag meat. There. Very important for this run. Because when you grill it, it increases your carry capacity by either 20 or 25 points for several minutes. And now that I'm in range of them, we're just going to put them on the sequin dress. Sequin dressed. That raises my charisma to 9. And we're just going to take a quick drink. Because there are quite a few of them. Just wanted to trade a few things. Don't get all gung ho now. Those raiders have hostages. Ah, there are the blowflies. Just gonna let the raiders take care of them really quick. And if things go south, hopefully a few of them will be damaged. Injured a little bit. So yeah, three raiders there, two more there, and then there's also the leader. Now hopefully this works, because I have 500 caps. Take one step closer and I shoot. What's going on here? You stupid! What do you think's going on? Look. I'm sure we can work this out. No one has to die. You wasted a whole bunch of us at Concord. So now you're gonna watch some of your people die. Could a hundred caps change your mind? Uh, not much, but it'll do. All right, boys. I think they learned their lesson. Yeah. Combat gear goes right back on. There we go. That should have resolved it. Hi. Not the way I would have done it, but at least it's open now. Say, uh, You're not playing a YOLO run where you can heal. I can't heal. time or venue for a chit chat, but have you got a minute? Of course. What's up? Well, this may seem abrupt, but the Commonwealth. By now, I'm sure you've experienced enough to form an opinion about it. So tell me, what do you think of it all? Oh, I am never going to take B as my option. It's the same old thing. People fighting each other instead of working together. Everything going to hell, but no one doing anything about it. Hit the nail right on the head. Couldn't have put it better myself. It's a real mess out here. People living in dirt. Barely enough food or clean water. Random attacks from raiders, pharaohs, or God forbid, since. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be that way. It just might be possible to bring back a measure of the civilization to the wastes. Like what you used to have. Do you really think that's possible? You've already seen firsthand what ASAMs can do. And you've shown interest in what more you can get out of them. What if I were to tell you, we've only scratched the surface, and maybe, if you're willing, we could perhaps do more than you ever imagined. I've got plans, but I feel they'd go a whole lot smoother if I had a reliable partner to ride shotgun. So, what I propose is a partnership. You and me, working together to try and rebuild the Commonwealth. Stranger, I don't even know your name. What do you say? I only know it because I played this mod before. All right. I'm in. <laughs> Hell yeah! You are not gonna regret this! I suppose a proper introduction is in order. Name's Jake. Jake Evans. And it's a pleasure to be working with you. <sighs> Thanks. You too. Alright! With the formalities out of the way, let me answer a query of yours. 
I should have made my character Finn. That way then Jake and Finn can go on adventure time. Missed opportunity. It's a problem we've already had some experience with. Raiders. The place with the ASAM equipment has been claimed by a raider gang. Really dug their heels in. And they're not open to doing trade. But I reckon together we could break into the little base and grab what we need. However, we would be in for a tough fight. Oh, that's an understatement. You think you'd be up for that? Taking on a raider stronghold? I don't know. That's this very dangerous. dangerous. Well, yeah. I mean, we'd be taking on chemmed up psychopaths with a passion for evisceration. Dangerous ain't the word. That's why I want to make sure you feel up to this. Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Well, all right. Now, this equipment we're after was delivered from Concord Hardware to an old Air Force satellite station called Olivia. Oh, so I don't know all about Olivia. But before we go there, might want to make a pit stop or two. There's a small trading post not far from here. Drumlin Diner. Might be worth stopping by, gear up on supplies. Also, I've got a small cache of gear hidden nearby, Olivia. It's probably still there. Would be useful for a little venture. I'll mark your pit for with our points of interest. But it's up to you what we do. I'm handing over the reins. Oh, well, that's interesting. So because I already talked to the Abernathys, and we're already going there to secure their locket for their of their daughter, he has a new line where we need, he says we should go to Drumlin Diner, which I think we'll do. But that'll have to wait for next time. Yes, next time. As always, thanks again for joining me on my playthrough through Fall 4, You Only Live Once. And as always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together.